welcome to my channel. I'm so, so excited to show you this very unique bag. I don't see it quite often. I've seen it in other color and the color I got it is just so, so beautiful. There you go. It is in this beautiful color, brown, medium brown, like a cognac color, which is something that I've kind of always wanted to get in the Chanel Classic, but it's just way, way too pricey in my opinion. But this brown is just beautiful, isn't it? There is quite a bit of wear on this handbag, but you will see it's still in this beautiful, very, very soft leather. The CC is just, just divine. Like, Oh my gosh, it's my favorite when the CC is a little bit bigger and it just looks so stunning on this style of a handbag. It's almost like a drawstring style or like a backpack, but the strap is attached on the top. So it's looking more like a pouch, but then with this added flap, I think it elevated the bag so much better. I, it looks so, so unique and cool looking than a, just a regular pouch bag. I don't like the, I think I'm over the Chanel 19, even the mini style. I was like so in love with it when it was so, came out, it was so small, but it's just a pouch. I hate pouches, I hate pocket bags, but oh, this one I really do love. The strap is a little bit short. Uh, I think it drops 17 inches and uh, it just looks like this inside. It's a drawstring and it's a darker brown color inside and it comes with a little pouch attached to the bag but it's not removable so um you know for uh, stuff like you want to secure maybe like jewelry or uh, like wallet cash in credit card but just one small pouch like that and um so this bag is you don't see a lot on the pre-love market I've seen this in the patent style. I've seen it in the black, lambskin and caviar. And I believe they come in different sizes as well. I think this might be a medium. They might, I've seen it in the bigger style and I think I've even seen it, seen it in like a smaller, like narrower style. So I think, I believe it's medium. And um, when I looked it up, I think it's called the penguin bag. Some people that do sell them, they don't really have the name, they don't put penguin, but when I finally saw a posting similar to bag, it is called the penguin bag. It does look like a penguin. This bag, the date code reads, reads as series three, which is 19, I think 19, 1994 to 1996, in the 90s for sure. So wow, 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 30 years, 30 years already. And my gosh, you won't believe how soft the leather is. It's so freaking soft, like really butter soft. Like when you think of Chanel lambskin, it really is the epitome of a Chanel lambskin. It's so darn soft. And I do love that balls the way that sound it makes. It's so, so pretty. It's a really, really soft leather. So, um, I'm actually thinking of sending this to leather surgeon. Most likely I will. A couple things that I want them to fix is the leather uh, darkening and the staining. Um, look at that. There's just so much uh, leather wear on this handbag. And also there is uh, on the piping right there. They need to fix it. And I think that's what's gonna cost me a lot of money on this bag. So they're coated me, I think around 400 bucks. And I also wanted them to uh, uh, make the strap longer by, by, by about six inches or seven or eight inches so I can cross body it nicer. It looks better cross body. And they can do that. Uh, they have original hardware, the matching hardware. So that's why I like only uh, using leather surgeon when I have my bag fixed. Uh, especially if they need to change or update the hardware, anything like that, um, I take it to them because uh, I can technically take this to my uh, bag guy uh, locally, but I'm, I'm not sure if he has like original hardware. So 
um, I decided to go with Leather Surgeon. Leather Surgeon's very picky about altering the bag, the leather. They want to keep it the way it is. Because this leather is so soft and so supple and it just can't be easily scratched and damaged, I don't mind getting this dyed or uh, just painted. And I asked them if they can do that, they don't want to do it. So it really took me a long time before I decided to go with Leather Surgeon, but that's the case. So um, I just don't like super soft lambskin, although it feels great. I'm just not ever want to wear worry about my handbag, so I don't mind getting painted. So that's what I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna reveal it to you guys so you can see here what it looks like now. And the, so obviously the hardware I'm gonna get uh, longer, but the hardware on this is just amazing. The 1990s bag, they just almost does not tarnish for some reason. I don't know, maybe this uh, hardware has been gilded, regilded, you know, replated or something, but they just like, unbelievably like super super yellow gold so also i wanted to show you this bag this one i sent to leather surgeon and i think they i cost around six hundred dollars i think that's including shipping though uh this bag is the chanel uh diana bag caviar leather and when i bought it from um the real real it was really badly damaged i'm going to show you pictures so you can just see um what it looked like before and after. I think there was like a leather that was coming off in this part and um, the hardware, I think they did re uh, update it and change it. So I'm not sure if this is the original CC hardware. I think either they had to replate this or re it and definitely the strap too, they had to change it up. And the, the, the bag was really in bad condition and um, I mean, I don't think that it was like an overall, like, wow, like really amazing job in my opinion. It's just, um, you know, they do what they can do with the leather. Like this one, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't like the, the way this looks. Didn't really improve the look of that, but it's a it does look a little bit more structured. Um, with a little bit more like, stiffness on the bag i do think that they uh they clean the inside too by the way it's, i'll show you the picture of the inside prior it was heavily used and damaged um they they made sure like the date code was intact even though it's like unreadable really over there but they made sure that's there and they give you a certificate which is kind of what i really like especially when the date code is no longer readable. Um, I like that they do give you like an authenticity certificate. So yeah, this one costs around $600. Uh, and I think they might have, might have painted, complemented the color because uh, I, it has a certain feel to it that when you paint a leather, it seems more hard wearing, like a little bit tougher, stiffer. So it does feel a little bit like that, but you know, if they had to do that, I'm sure they had to do that. So I'm not too mad. All the corners has been fixed. They touch it up. So yeah, so um, the reason I get bags and get them redone because you can get them and score them a lot cheaper and then uh, you just have to factor in that it will cost at least a couple hundred dollars to get something fixed. That's when you want to get the item at a very kind of like low price so you know when you get it fixed, it's kind of like what you would have paid for. And But just be careful like um, when if you do try to sell it later, just make sure if you change something, people might not like altered bags or bags that came from spa and they always ask you, has this bag been uh, uh, like complemented with color or touch up? Whenever like people hear touch up color, they don't want it. So just be very careful in that sense where you change the item a little bit too much, then you might have a hard time uh, reselling it. But in cases like this, where these bags to me are classic and for could be forever bags, I don't really care because I, I'm gonna keep it forever. I don't care if it doesn't sell, then it doesn't sell. It's with me forever and ever, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll give you an update on this bag for what I eventually uh, 
uh, did on this bag, but it's super, super cute. I'll show you like a mouth shot. I think it's such a stunning, very unique bag. You just don't see it very often. I think I, I've, I've seen it currently right now in like the patent. I see like a caviar leather posted on Bestier for like around 3,000 bucks. To me, that's still kind of pricey, but yeah. Getting this under $1,000, I think then that's a good buy. That's a good buy, especially if you plan a free like uh, fixing it up and spending money on it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and informative to you. And see you next time on my next posting. Bye, Chopin out.